Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies, and what are we bringing today, Scotty boy? Noah's Mill Kentucky Bourbon Whiskey. It's got its own little tag. That's right, let's test it. We're gonna test it! Let's test it. So coming right in, let's go right to the Scotch God shout out and I'll pour. Pour the Noah's Mill. <laughs> um, Billy Hughes commented on our uh, Whiskey Review 309, the Defiant American Ooh, yeah. Single Malt Whiskey. Defiant, you got to see a little something something on that one, wedding gift. Now Defiant is a very young whiskey. To it find is. out how young, you'll have to watch the review. Can I sneak it? No, don't even say it. Sneak it. Just Don't snoop. Shit. What? Shit it. Sip. Hit it. What? Shut up. Shut Shit. up. <laughs> uh, Billy Hughes comments. Had this one before. He gives it a 4.7 out of 10. Ooh. It's not a collectible. But he says, would love to taste this aged traditionally after about four to five years. Older, even better. Yeah. It's a good start, though, and he wishes that distillery luck. Good. Which is kind of some of the sentiments we had. It wasn't the best whiskey we ever had. It is really young. Watch our review. You'll find out how young. He's oh. doing, uh, I think it's Tim Ferriss. Yes. He's doing a different process to age the whiskey quicker. I'll even say I had, the, I, I had it again a few weeks after the show aired, and I... I may have even scored it a couple points lower. I won't tell you what I scored it, mm -hmm. but I was just kind of like, I, again, I love the experimentation. That's all I'm going to say. Go watch the Defiant yeah. show. Yeah. That and you can but, see it think, on an odd Defiant wedding gift at the same time. Yeah. But I think we talked about how even, you know, as, yeah, granted, that's not the best whiskey we'd ever had. And it's a single malt, an American single malt whiskey. But I like that. Um, but we said we were also interested to see what he was going to do in the future and, yes. we, and, and with some time. The other thing I think, so, I think it's brilliant marketing on his part. What he did with his special odd little process and making an American single malt was it made him stand out and people talk about Defiant. Yeah. Which I like. Brilliant marketing. Brilliant marketing, Tim Ferriss, not the author. How uh, you, how'd you like that? I remembered his name. Love it. The way you threw that out was great. You could and have even said Timothy. Literally going from... You know what else? I went and watched their website, memory. and he gives this brilliant advice, almost like advice he would have given himself if he was just starting out. And I won't ruin it, but go to their website and go watch. He's sitting on a... Since we did the review, a, you went and watched? Yeah, yeah. I went and checked out while I was editing it. And I went to check out the site just to see if there was something I could add into the notes. I ended up watching like a little interview with him because I wasn't sure if it was the famous author Tim Ferriss or not. And it's not. No. If I remember right, the famous author wrote like the four hour work week, the four hour workout, and, and it's not the same guy. And uh, while I was there though, I listened to a little motivational thing that uh, the distiller, and it was good. Back to this. <laughs> Back to this. Noah's Mill. And now that I say that, there's also there's kind of a uh, hold on unground coffee beans, unground whole <laughs> coffee beans. There's there's another whiskey that a lot of people compare right alongside, and I think it's like a, a cousin to this one from the same distillery. And I can't remember now what the, what that one is. Like the same mother. So we like again me and yeah a brother from another mother. Boom. There you go. Bam. Me and Bart aren't good on the research and doing all that. We want to give you a review like of what's in this bottle. And that's it. So, um, Noah's Mill, did you notice what this is bottled at? I did not. What is the ABV? 57. Are you kidding me? 0.15. Are you kidding me? No. Huh. I had not noticed that. I don't even have that in my notes. Yeah. That is interesting. That kind of blows my mind a little bit. That high, 57. Yes. Huh. I'm learning something on our own show. Live. I get a little bit of the barrel char, just a little bit on the nose. Well, that was one of my first notes that okay. I picked up. Okay. And I get a cinnamon, and I've got it like a roasted walnut or a pecan. Definite cinnamon. It's a it's a hard nut. 
It's not, I mean, it's not a peanut that's on the nose. It's not an almond. It's like a walnut or a pecan. It's not a pistachio. It's a soft nut. That's right. <laughs> cashew? No. no. Uh -uh. No cashew. I did get a little me. bit, a little bit of a slight rye note at one point on the nose and a floral character as well. I get a cherry oak and a cherry. musky dark syrup. And it's there now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good, good descriptor. Yeah. And I'm glad I made my notes on that with a with a cinnamon layered in there. For a bourbon, this is this is branching off. This has some different notes on the nose yeah. that is not a standard bourbon. I'm with you there. You know, usually you get like a cinnamon, an oak, a vanilla, a caramel. There's a little medicinal note. Some it's of that. It's gotta be the high ABV. There's just, there's also other stuff in there with there those notes. I almost get like a eucalyptus, which is weird. Huh. Yeah, and maybe even a little lavender. That could be my floral. Yeah. This is more, mine's more like a flower shop. Like you yeah. walked into a flower yes. shop and just that all those flowers, the roses, every, everything uh, that's in there coming I together. I am concurring about 198%. Because <laughs> you're right, it's like a flower shop. It's almost like when you go to get roses and you open the cooler and all the roses and all the different displays are in there and you get that, you get that almost vegetable floral scent that comes out of that cooler. Now let me point out also, this is a non aged statement, which they've gone to recently, but, and do you know what the, before they went non aged statement, do you remember what age statement this used to carry on it? Eight years. Used to be, I think it was a 15 year. What? Yeah. Wow. Used to be, I think it was either 13 or 15, it was Noah's Mill 13 year or 15 year bourbon. Are you, I almost cursed, kidding me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Holy moly. You are right. This is petals on a flower. This is stop and smell the roses. Huh. And yet I still get that Ooh. musky dark syrup. Wow. Taste neat. Very hot. Not bad. Didn't choke me up. Anything like that. I get peanuts. I get wood. A dark chocolate. Reese's peanut butter cups and cherries. Yeah, I've got cherry lozenge mm. right in there. Whoops, <laughs> hit a button, hit a button. Crazy stuff's happening over here. I'm done. Right. <laughs> and a cherry extract. This to me comes in too hot. I have to bring it down. I don't think so. I don't now, necessarily enjoy this at that uncut level. Mm. But that's all I'm going to say now. Sorry, go. Um, I was trying to think of the um, the cherries that are wrapped in the chocolate, and they got that syrup. Oh, I had it to a cordial. A cherry cordial. Cherry cordial. But there's like one company that makes like the main ones or something that's well known for. I forget what it is. That's what I was trying to think of. Russell's. I don't think it's Russell's. Werther's. Nope. Chang. <laughs> Machete? <laughs> Machete! <laughs> I, I, I went as far as I possibly could with my candy knowledge. Oh, look, after after I added water, you had cherry lozenge. I've got yes. cough syrup, cherry mentholiptus. Yes, yes. I'm glad because I felt... Um, I, I have in my notes here, uh, without adding water, I'm not a fan of the cherry here. And I think it's because with that higher ABV, it hits me a little medicinal. Um, and, uh, and it, and it kind of threw me, kind of tossed me. Now I had the Reese's peanut butter cups. Mm. And as I drink this more, it's almost more like just peanut butter. Um, and I watched Bourbon Night, I believe, the reviewers. They also really had a peanut butter Bourbon Knight? Bourbon Knight. Just Knight. I think Bourbon Knight with a K? I, I want to more like helmets. It's a, I want to say Chad and Sarah, the guy and the gal. Okay. When you said that, I was thinking like Knights of the Round Table. No. Bourbon Knight, as in it's nighttime. Just, just 
Simple night. You're usually asleep by then. I work in the morning. <laughs> I go to bed early, try to get up early, and do yoga. There is a yoga show, by the way, that we did that some people have referenced recently. Yes. I am Which not one flexible. was it? I can't remember. 14-year Malvini Caribbean cast. Wow. Yes. I wore a tight, skin-tight Under Armour shirt that no longer really fit. Watch it and see. I stun him. I make an entrance, and it's stunning. Not in a good way. <laughs> 209, if I didn't say Ooh, it. Oh, you didn't. I'm glad you did. I do get a slight rye. Yeah. A good oakiness. You're like in my mind. With water. And I've got sour. Mm. And I think that's some of the the oak, the age, mm -hmm. maybe. I don't think it's near that 15-year age statement, 13-year or 15-year age statement, but it's probably not too far off. I'm putting more water in. I've already <laughs> done a lot. I'm doing more. Now, and I'm going to tell you this, too. I remember when I sat down for this, the first night I tasted it with that heavy nut, nuttiness that's in there. When I first started, I was like, oh, this is good. I really like this. Mm -hmm. And about halfway through, I thought, yeah, I don't yeah. want to finish this glass. Mm. But then by the time I was done with it, I was back. I was like, that was good, and I want some more. I it was kind of a weird, it was the first time that transition had ever happened. I'm, I am so glad you said this. I did not come back. <laughs> but. And sitting here right now, that's very good. I did not add water. Oh. I was a little turned off by this. The cherry was so overwhelming that the night I tasted this, which I don't have the date on here, usually it is, that it almost overrode my palate. And I should have brought it down with water. I don't know if I maybe didn't look at the ABV. Where is the, I bet you I missed it. Oh my God, I did. I bet you I looked at the bottom and thought, I don't know what's going on here, but it didn't work for me. 57.15. Now they do say small batch boutique, boutique they do. bourbon. They do. But uh, when I tried this, the cherry overwhelmed me and I wasn't a big fan. And what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to tell you when we score what my score was that night because I, I halted tasting and, <laughs> and I did not add water. I did not add water. So tonight is I have in here no water added. I've added a lot of water and I may add more. I've added two drops. Let me add a, even a little bit more here. It's still mm. good. I like it. All right. I've got the ABV down now. Let me see if I can delve in. The cherry is still there, but it's now more of a cherry cola. The finish is almost like the, the rind, like a cherry rind, but it's settled out a little bit. It's smoothed out a little bit. I still get a little bit of a concentrated syrup, a cherry syrup. Cherries don't have rinds. I yeah, kind of do. Oh, okay, skin. Oh. I'm going to say skin. Oh. I'm sorry. We'll say a cherry skin. Kind of like when you've chewed on the cherry, but the skin's still left in your mouth mm -hmm. there. And you got to work it a little bit. It's kind of where Are I'm you thinking at. dark cherries? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A dark, rich red cherry. I still get... A strong oak flavor. The oak comes in a little bit now, more now. Wow. He just put on a hold of big wig. <laughs> we don't halt shooting. I'll call him soon. You're right. Done. You're right. I don't care if that was Trump that just called you from the office. <laughs> it could have oh, been it was Trump. We, yeah, if it was Trump. No, you halt that baby. You ain't yeah. you ain't at his beck and call. <laughs> that could have been Pompeo. From the CIA, hold. We'll talk to you later, alligator. Sorry. Right. I don't know. I like this. You've got to add water. To well, yeah, I, I would agree. I have to add water to this. Oh, boy. You and I are going to disagree on this one. That's Say not your the first score. time. 91. All right. My original score, the night of the stoppage. It's 
what I'm calling it. The Night of the Stoppage 82. Ooh. Yeah. Brutal. Not a fan of the night. With a good amount of water added, I'm going to bring this up to an 86 here right now today. Oh. Not bad. Mm -hmm. The cherry has been tamed down. I'm still not a big... Everybody knows this is... I don't like a lot of wood forward flavor, which is kind of what comes out with this. 85, 86. I'm, hold on. 86 with a possible minus one. There you go. <laughs> it's almost a Scott I want him. Scale. I want him over. Almost, but I didn't give a plus or minus. I gave. I a go plus, plus or plus or minus one on my score. Some people <laughs> might uh, go up or down on that one a little Woo. bit. I forgot about the plus. Why haven't you done that in the last few reviews? <laughs> now, and I've got. I started the night that I started. And I sat down. I started. I was like, "Ooh, this is good." Ninety-one. I've got it in my notes. And then I was like, "I don't. I don't think I want to finish this glass. It's so nutty." And I went down into the 80s, but then by the time I was done with it that night, I, I'm back to it. And I am today, too. I think this is delicious. It's an odd experience. Mm -hmm. This is it, one it was, of the... It is different, yeah. It is. It's one of the more odd standalones, which does bring it up for me. And I wish the night I tried it, I would have added water and tamed it down a little. I, I honestly think I looked. I remember looking for an ABV and there's a side sticker and a yeah. back sticker. And I did not look at this top strap, which says this batch of bourbon was aged in a wooden in wooden barrels until fully mature, bottled by hand at 57.15, 114.3 proof. And I I just Kind of scored it, left it, and walked away. Now this is Water. also, okay, let's move into, is it worth it? This is a pickup from Dallas. This isn't available in our area. Okay. $55. Hmm. Yes. Huh. Absolutely. Probably one of the best buys, if you ask me. Wow. For me, it's a no, just because I feel I had to... Well, I had to really bring her down. The cherry was too strong for me. That being said, um, with the water added to it, and I, I love higher ABVs because it allows me to bring it down where I like it. I wouldn't buy this just because it hits me as an oddball. But I'm enjoying it much more here today than I did back then. And, uh, and I see... Huh, I recognize and love that it's different. It's definitely unique. So if you want something that I think brings difference, this is Noah. You're not trying to stand in the crowd. You're standing alone. Oh yeah. And I yeah, do he appreciate that. He, yeah, he, he spread, or Noah took it, took his whiskey and moved yeah. it off to the side. And when said, Noah Here we built are. the mill, built it to his stand. <laughs> okay, so I wouldn't buy this, but I really, really appreciate what was done because this is not joining the crowd. It's saying, hey, I'm over here. Come try me. I dig that. I mean, to me, you're looking at especially a cast or barrel strength, 57%. You're looking at something that used to have a, either a 13 or a 15 year age statement on it. I'm not going to give them any credit for so, what it used to, though. Yeah. I, 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 I hear you. I didn't know that. I like to hear that. They've gone with the NAS, so I'm not giving them the credit for what they used to do, but I'm with you on that. Don't forget, we do have a Patreon shout-out. Yep, here, let's do it. you're ready. Yep, we're done. Let's roll on. All right, we're done. This is a little bit of a triple deal. Now, we got behind. We did the rye shootout, and I'm going to admit, we got a little overloaded trying to film all the rye's, and, of course, we weren't putting out our Patreon shout-outs. If you donate a dollar, you get a name mentioned. A dollar, I don't care if it's a dollar an episode or just a dollar. You're going to get your name mentioned. That's what we're going to do here. If you're donating $2, we shout your name out with enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. If you donate 3 and ideally, yes, you could game this system and just say 3 and cap it at 3 But if you donate 3 No need to tell him that. No need to tell, but you'll figure it out if you want to. If you donate $3, we'll, if you want, we add a photo of your choosing. It's been a dog. It's been somebody's shoe it's been their face it's been whatever we will add the photo maybe not the shoe uh it's got to be uh, something we can air and then we also shout it out but today we have roy duff mm -hmm. roy, roy duff. duff came in we thank have, you roy 
right? We have a uh, we have a uh, a brew. Uh, I, my writing's horrible. <laughs> Oh my lord! Dude. I know what is Brian that? Hunter. Brian Hunter. I almost said Bruce. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Brian. When I was writing this down, I think I got in a, in a hurry, and I'm going to apologize for that. <laughs> What's the other one there? Um, you can't even read it. I can you? can't. It's Travis. Travis I love Harvey. Travis. Travis Harvey's great. <laughs> my V on here on my writing, Travis was not. It looks good. almost like Travis Hazmat. <laughs> I thought it was more like Travis Harumph. Harumph. Yeah, Harumph from like, uh, and Travis from like Blazing Saddles. Like Harumph, Harumph, Harumph. Travis, hey, yeah. thank you. <laughs> but we thank all of our Patreon supporters. Um, we say to everybody, if you come in and just do a dollar a month, you're helping us out. Because if we get a thousand people that do a dollar a month, we've just made a thousand. Okay? So... Please come in with whatever you can afford. Mm -hmm. uh, we are doing some special things for our Patreon supporters. Mm -hmm. uh, they're really our ultra fans. We've had a couple uh, or at least one show where we, we opened it up. It was private. It never we did aired. A little li just a live stream but just a live with stream them. Gave them the we opportunity out. to yeah. come in. We had six or seven that joined up with us. We need yeah. to do that more often. Yeah. Um, you're talking a, a Christmas, something or other coming up. I said, well, we can't talk about Christmas yet. And you said, and well, said yeah, we, we can. Should, I said, no, it's like, we got to wait until like October to talk right, about Right, but Christmas. we're working on a very, very funny Christmas card that's going to involve us, that's too. It, that's all. That's it. But become a supporter because then you're in. Yep. We're also working on when you hit, we've got several folks that have been Patreon supporters for quite some time. And they're over the $100 mark for their lifetime donations to us. And we're going to create a special Patreon coin that you can't get. You can only get if you're a Patreon supporter that hits that $100 mark. Yeah. And we're even talking about higher tiers yeah. because like there's a hundred dollar tier, five hundred dollar yeah. tier, thousand dollar tier. And no one yes. Gifts, so. And uh and so those will only be available for our Patreon supporters. But go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can pick up our challenge coins, which work as Glenn Cairn glass toppers. You can pick up a Scotch Test Dummies Glenn Cairn. Everything helps the show. We appreciate it. All helps us. So much for the, the show to small you. print. Boom. Anything else you want to add? Let's go. Scotch it, you scotch gods. Salancha. Dummies. Dummies.